Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and SAG award-winning actor and director who's been entertaining us since there were little houses on the prairie. His new movie, directed by Ben Affleck, is called Air. It opens the theaters one week from today. Please welcome Jason Bateman. <laughs> What a role you are on, Jason Bateman. I mean, fresh off, winning all the awards during award season. You come yeah, out with all this of them. movie. Them all. Air, you pop in there. People are talking about Ben Affleck and that other guy. And then there's you stealing the show right in the middle of this movie. Oh, man, what must it be like to be you besides that um, haircut from the 80s that you still have? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big laugh. <laughs> it's an offensively big laugh. Yeah, this whole pigeon wing over here, yeah. I've got to get rid of, right? Because the movie's over. I think I kept it for possible reshoots. You did. But now it's released, and so I can cut it. I now. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're shooting the sequel now, and we don't know about it. My wife, Amanda, won't sleep with me with short hair, so I've got to... Is that true? Mm -hmm. She prefers long hair? She does, yeah. How long does she want it? Uh, well, anything that makes me look a little bit less like the Jason Bateman she knows. <laughs> She's looking for Teen Wolf 2, Jason She's Bateman. She's looking to spice you, <laughs> exactly. So she wants me to grow my nails out. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I still miss the magic elevator. Can we bring that back? The, yes, the, uh, yes the, the elevator you're obsessed with. It was a pretend elevator. It wasn't really an elevator. Or yeah. carpeted or something. <laughs> what brainstorm? Let's is... talk about right, your projects, Jason. <laughs> Because you are the star right now. We are focused on you. You Incredible are this star. movie, by the way, I told Ben Affleck, it's, you know, you know, I especially Very love it because it is a love letter to the 80s. It is so 80s from the music and the just everything about it. You is... love the I should love the 80s because I, I was I was doing very well in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And so like all of this, you, Jimmy. I, I'm sure you were about to say. I'm sorry to cut you no, off. No, no, I wasn't about to say it. Loves anything. 80s music. I do. I love it. Yeah. Like in an unhealthy way. <laughs> he just thinks it's the greatest music decade. Of course that it is. Was, I mean, like, you know, this, right? It's just totally wrong. It's just like, couldn't Oh, yeah, he, he loves it. Yeah, yeah no, no, but he, the, the 80s was too, not, was not Lito the and I, I, you couldn't possibly match anyone who has my musical taste more similarly you than You love the 80s? Okay, so oh, what yeah. were you two doing that was so <laughs> great in the 80s where all that music just brings back the glory days? What were you guys crushing in the 80s? I don't know. We weren't doing coke like you. We were, yeah. we were, we were drinking. We were drinking new Coke is what we were doing. <laughs> but There's like, so much, come on. Bruce Springsteen, Madonna, Lionel Richie, Prince, U2, Van Halen, Metallica. I mean, the birth of hip hop. Every hip hop, the music started there. It was there. fun. But it wasn't like there's reverence with you with this decade. That's I mean, right. What, what is Yacht Rock on your... Oh, yeah, absolutely. All the time, right? All the time, yeah, absolutely. Molly's going to jump out the window one day on the 405. <laughs> this is such a betrayal to the decade that built, that made Jason Bateman. This is like if Pac-Man came out and said, now that screw I... the 80s, <laughs> I'm not eating those pellets anymore. Wait a second. Am I the Screen Actors Guild Pac-Man? No, no, no. I think you're, that's what you you're just more like Hubert. You're more of a Hubert. <laughs> that's the nastiest thing you've ever said to me. By the way, I was fantastic at Hubert. Yeah, were you really? No, I was. No, I wasn't. I wasn't better than than the games that we had on Silver Spoons. I mean, Ricky and I had Pac-Man, Dragon Slayer, Centipede, and uh, 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 Missile, or uh, anyway, one of them. We just, we, we rocked it. We, Cause you know, you could play it for free all the time. It yeah, came so. too easy to you. That's what your problem with the eighties is. We had to put quarters, tournament. quarters and quarters. You were in a Pac-Man tournament? Tournament and placed very well. You did? Yeah. Against like regular players? No, yeah, there was, was other it celebrities? celebrities in it yeah. too. Just like me. Uh, <laughs> I think people sponsored it. I had a little Pac-Man trophy. <laughs> oh my, oh God, the eighties were horrible. No. <laughs> This movie is proof that they weren't. In fact, I believe we have this the first time. the one good thing that came out of the You game. dabbled in Michael Jordan um, paraphernalia was um, right here. Um, one of the... There you go. I mean, how is that not in the show, in the movie, by the way? I have more muscles in that picture than I currently have. <laughs> 
What was which which of the many gems from the eighties is my, that from? I like the way my forearms are bigger than my biceps. You know, it's just a perspective. It's, it's, Don't no, get no, down on I'm yourself. I'm like a veal. It's terrible. <laughs> um, so that that is the opening uh, credits to Valerie or the Hogan family or whatever we were called. Oh that, that wow! Year. Yeah, um, you see, that's one that's, of the things I love. Yeah, and so yeah, so that's the bulls. That's uh, that's. Did Michael you shave Jordan. your armpits then to look more like a boy? <laughs> I was on swim team. You were, okay? yeah. There's no hair anywhere, um, <laughs> and that was that was a piece. That Did they the give you Jordans to for, for as part of the movie? Was no. that part of the deal? And you would think, because I realized from doing this film that I've never had a pair of Jordans. I've worn Nikes my whole life, but I never, for some reason, never bought a pair of Jordans. Um, and, and I thought that maybe, you know, oftentimes when you're done with the project, the the director will usually give a gift to the cast and the crew, and it'll be somehow themed, tied into the film itself. I thought, for sure, because we can make our own Nikes online, right? Nike uh, yeah, ID. design, whatever, ID. Right. I thought, well, Ben's going to do it. I made a shoe for Ozark. I made, I made a Converse high top with all the symbols from Ozark, from the opening titles. I put those all over the shoe, gave them to everybody, paid for it myself. Ben could have gone to Nike for free and gotten everybody a pair of Jordans that were just for the cast, just for the crew, would have been like a real exclusive thing that would have yeah. been really cool. Nothing. What did nothing he do? Either. Did he do it anything? It was like um, um, uh, pirate booty, I think. Everyone got a bag of pirate <laughs> Everybody booty. got a bag of pirate booty? <laughs> so nothing there. And then, um, By and the then way, I saw him the other day. Those sneakers that your cast love, the sneakers, huh? Yeah, we like the sneakers. Oh, yeah. look. Somebody's gotta... selling the sneakers that you gave them on the. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There it is. Really? Yeah, that's real. We didn't make this up. Jason Bateman rap gift for the fourth final season of the Netflix show Ozark. That's a fake. Look, it's not a fake. And um, figure out who you gave a size 11 to and narrow it down. 550 bucks, that's pretty small. Right? Yeah. Meanwhile, you got Pirate's booty. Yeah, no, that's... Um... <laughs> Damn it. You think that's too low? I think that's low. There's only, what, a hundred some pairs of those? Yeah. Sorry. That's terrible. Yeah. But. <laughs> I don't know why I come on this. Show. I don't know why either. I come out feeling great. You and know what? Then Let's I leave do terrible. Let's take a break. Let's start over Let's again. Start over. Let's start over fresh. The studio. We'll show a clip of your performance in the movie. That'll make me Jason feel worse. Bateman is here. The movie is called Air. We'll be right back. Hello. Strauss. Hey, where the hell are you? North Carolina. Shit! Damn it, Sonny, what happened to a phone call? I'm calling you now. I'm in the car. The rental car has a phone in it. Yeah, not me, the parents. It would have been unprofessional for me to just call them up. Right, so you just thought you'd show up at the front door. Look, if anybody back there has to where I am, just tell them I'm sick. You got it, sick in the head. That is Jason Bateman and another guy in the new movie Air, which opens in theaters on April 5th. Are you like kids excited? Do they know about Michael Jordan and or is he a shoe to them? My my 11-year-old Maple, she's a huge basketball fan, so she thinks this is really cool. Finally, Dad has done something that she can be proud of. All right, she plays um, basketball, yeah. She loves basketball. Um, uh, Francesca, who's 16. Couldn't really care less uh, about a basketball or, or well, actually, it's, she's in. She's into cool shoes. Like, see, I can't wear Jordans. I don't think anymore. Why? I'm Fifty-four years old. I'd look like you know, cool dad in you know Air Jordan. I looked at uh, maybe just getting the black on black pair, but then right. I looked like a ref. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. White yeah. on white. I'm a male nurse, <laughs> so I can't. I can't get like these fun, colorful shoes. It's it's over for me. Well, maybe you wear those Ozark Converse around. That would be cool. When they cool you, like, hey, everybody, remember the show I was on? Look at my shoes. You know, that would be fun. I can get a, I can get a cheap pair online. You know, I wanted to thank you uh, for a couple of things. You're also. welcome. First of all, I want to thank you for the other day when um, our kids go to the same school. I was crossing the street to get to the school, <laughs> and someone screamed out the window to me, hey, Jimmy, you were great on the Oscars. And I'm like, hey, and then it's him. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad, though, because you're crossing the street with your daughter and your wife. <laughs> and it's just like, just clowning the guy out the middle yeah, of Yeah. You know. And then I want to thank you also, because, um, so, um, your daughter and our families, you know, we were close, we're friendly, and there was a situation. Is that past tense? Did you just say past tense? 
I said we're close, we're you friendly. Said we were close. No, I didn't okay. say we were close, but you know, let me tell the rest of the story. I don't think you even know what story I'm going to share. It seems like it might be heavy. It's a little bit, it's not that heavy, but my wife tells me, hey, listen, uh, your daughter, Maple, has a, uh, a lizard that she's very fond oh, of. Yeah. And my wife it's says, It's a gecko, bro. It's not a lizard. It's a gecko. <laughs> Uh, my daughter, Jane, also thinks this is great, this gecko. And my wife says, we're going to watch the gecko for a week um, for the Batemans. And You're I welcome. said, OK, great. Uh, fine. For free. For free. Well, yeah, sure, of course. And then we're headed over to your house to pick up the gecko we're going to watch, which should have been my first clue that something was wrong, because generally, when you're doing someone a favor, they will bring the gecko to you. Oh, so, wait, was that the way it was sold between Amanda I'll and Molly? That, that, that you were doing us a favor, your, your gecko sitting? 100%. That's then, not it. I, I know, I said to Molly on the drive over, I said, where are they going, you know? And she's like, <laughs> oh, they're not going out of town. We're doing Jane a favor they by got a letting her dog. hang out. Huh? You got a dog was the story. Yes, we did get a cute little puppy. You got a puppy, and your daughter was distracted by the new dog, and right. so we were going to watch the gecko while your daughter spent some quality time, which, okay, great. And I'm like, okay, great. So then we get to your house, and your wife, Amanda, starts explaining the, you know, how to handle the gecko, what to do to keep it alive, you know? And she says, like, here's the cage, and here's the water, and here's the heat lamp, and here's... The crickets, there's like a jar of crickets, and um, you got to feed the crickets to the gecko and whatever. And then she says, and this is where I became a little bit somewhat alarmed. She said, and if you guys go out of town this summer, we'll be happy to watch <laughs> the gecko. And I thought, why would, you, what do you mean you'd be happy? This is your gecko. Yeah. You'd be happy to watch your own gecko while we go out of town? At this point, you turned slowly to Molly. I turned like... slowly to Molly, but I held my tongue, and I waited till we get in the car. I'm like, what have happened? Yeah, we are, we are not gecko sitting. We are now adopting a gecko. And now I have a, first of all, crickets smell. Are you aware of that? I didn't know that till Molly hit me with a, with yeah. a link this morning. Yeah, they, yeah. Don't, they don't smell good. And uh, secondly, I now, like, I went into my daughter's room just to check on her in the middle of the night the other night, and there's this big aquarium with a light on it. And I thought, oh, we're one of those families whose child has a reptile. Yeah. It's not great. It's not great. Reptiles shouldn't be in the house. They should be outside running from an exterminator. Yes, right? you're totally right. Yeah. Anyway, I got you a present, and um, I think you're going to love it. It's... Is, it, is it the gecko? It's the gecko, yes. Yeah. Son yeah. of a yeah. bitch. The <laughs> there he is. His name's Sonny. <laughs> He comes with a lot of crickets. I hear, you know, if, if they get out, then they start, they, they, they start squir uh, uh, squeaking around the house. You know, you got to watch out that the crickets don't get no, out. No, I don't. You have to watch out because <laughs> you're the one that has a gecko. Jason Bateman, everybody, and Sonny. Air opens the theaters April 5th. We'll be back with Ali Wong.